come on, go faster. Hey, come on. No, it's not even responding. It's very, very slow. Come on. Hmm. Okay. Ah, that's cheap. Voila! It's going fast again. It works. What's up YouTube? You're on the right channel. This is not the DIY to fix a ceiling fan. Or is it? Hi, I'm Dan Nicole. I'm property investor, business owner, and author. Today's video a little bit different from all my previous videos. Now you may ask, how is it possible for fixing a fan that is relevant to property investment? Stay until the end, then I will tell you why. Now the reason I show you the video clip about fixing a ceiling fan is to do with problem solving. I'm not showing the video clip to you guys to show how good I am in fixing things or how great I am. But I just want to show you guys that I have the problem solving skill. Now problem solving skill is not something that we born with. Instead, it is something we nurture. I mean, it is skill set that you can learn over time. These days, you can literally learn anything on the internet. For example, if you want to learn about investment, you can go to Investopedia. That's the best website for you to learn anything about investment. And if you want to learn about property investment, you can head to my website, Rapid Property Connect. You can read all the free stuff there. And if you watch all my videos on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, then I can assure you, you are 60% there to become a property investor. Now, coming back to the problem solving skill, how to nurture that skill? Now, I'm not an electrical engineer, nor that I'm a website designer, but I manage to solve a lot of things on a daily basis. That includes the ceiling fan. There is no secret to my problem solving skill, but I can share with you ways how you can improve your problem solving skill. Number one, the ability to pinpoint where is the problem. It looks like easy, but a lot of time, a lot of people didn't even know where the problem is. There is no way you can solve a problem without identifying where the problem is. For example, your problem could be something like you're unable to find undervalued properties. Now that is a problem. It's because a lot of people, especially investors, they're all buying below market value. But why can't you get one? You can start off by asking yourself questions. For example, why are you unable to get BMV properties? Is it because you're unable to meet credible agents? Is it because you're unable to find the right investment group? Or because it's as simple as you don't even know that BMV properties exist? Be able to pinpoint where is the problem and trying to solve it is a great way to start. Number two, stay curious all the time. When you are curious how things work and then you will try to find the answer all the things. If you are curious on how people can buy so many properties, then you will try to find the answer how they actually do it. They are able to buy so many properties. Is it because they're able to find properties above 40% below market value? Again, if it's yes, then how did they do it? Now you see, being curious, it will lead you one question to the next. You know what? That's how you nurture your problem solving skill by just being curious alone. Number three, continuous learning. Now being curious is not enough. You need to be willing to learn. Spend time to learn all the great stuff around you. They are there for a reason. Keep learning what's new and that's what the lifelong learning is all about. End of the day, I really believe that knowledge is power. And you never know that this skill and knowledge will eventually make you money in the future. Now, always remember that opportunities only for those people that are ready. Number four, be humble. Now, the thing is, you don't know what you don't 
No, there are great teachers out there. When you talk to people around you on a daily basis, you actually can learn a lot of things from them. As each of us come from different parts of life, and of course we have different life experience that we can share with each other. So having people to share their life experience with us save us a lot of mistakes especially in property investment. There are so much more to learn. So here you go. The things that nurture my problem solving skill that brings me to where I am today. And of course, if you want to learn more about property investment, you can get the free ebook in the description below. I hope you learned something from this. I see you in the next video.